because if you prepare Correct. your dsa your resume and everything but when you get into the interview then you can see that whether are you fully prepared or not whenever you are writing a question also explain the approach if you are able to do that you can Correct. definitely crack their interviews Hi and welcome back to Coding Ninjas guys I'm Kabir Singh and I'm here with another spectacular interview experience for you guys So today we have a really different company out there on the list which is Dunzo and we're going to talk to Akash Gupta and we're going to understand how we actually cracked the interview at Dunzo I am also going to try to brief out all the rounds for you guys so we'll talk to Akash try briefing out every round see what happened in every round of his interview and this is actually going to help us out in the future also guys if you want to read an article out of this interview experience i'll put the link in the description below because Akash has also written an article for his interview experience at the company Danzo so let's welcome Akash and see how it goes hi Akash how are you doing yeah hi i am doing fine okay Akash can you give me a small introduction about yourself yeah hi everyone this is akash so i graduated in 2021 from jp college so this is my second company so previously i used to work in one of the service based company after that i made a switch to this uh, i mean a product based startup you can say so this is my second that's company that's really nice so akash can you tell me how many rounds were there in the interview when you sat for it yeah so there yeah, are totally three rounds i mean complete interview okay. process including okay, the online assessment three rounds round. Yeah, yeah. That's great. That's it. So, if we talk about the first round, what actually happened in that? Yeah. So, actually, the first round is taken by a third-party company, not by directly the developers of the Dunzo. So, what happened in the first round mm-hmm. is they asked me three DSA question. So, for those three okay. DSA question, I have to actually code it. I mean, they give some test cases, and then my to code has to pass all those test cases. Okay. Yeah. And this is like an online interview, online uh, no, coding test. Yeah, it's, it's on their online code. platform. They are specific online platform. Okay. And how much time was there in that interview? It's a sixty-minute round. Sixty minutes for three questions. That's great. So basically, Akash, when I talk about three questions in sixty minutes, it's around uh, coming up to twenty minutes per question. Mm-hmm. So if I talk to you about the difficulty of this mm-hmm. round, how much would you ri- like to rate the difficulty of the round, or maybe the question specifically? Yeah. So there are actually three questions. So one question is actually a lead mm-hmm. code medium. If anyone do okay. practice lead code question, so they will definitely get it. So it's actually a lead code medium, and other two question are lead code easy. Okay, that's great. That's great. Okay, and now coming up to the next round, what actually happened in that? Yeah, so second round is actually taken by one of the developer from the Danzo. So he is actually one of the team lead. Okay. I mean, he asked me two questions. So both of those question are lead code medium questions. Okay, both of them DSA questions. Yeah, yeah, DSA. That's I mean, nothing the, else was asked in the interview. In the first round, three questions are DSA, and the second round, two questions are again DSA questions. Okay. and both of them are lead code medium yeah in the second one both of them are lead code medium okay a very different question out there for you akash is mm-hmm. that when you sit for an online coding round like online assessment mm-hmm. that's a different scenario wherein you don't have to show your code to anyone it's mm-hmm. just you coding and practicing mm-hmm. to trying to pass your test cases but uh, when you further talk about the second round you have to actually solve those questions for somebody explain your approach mm-hmm. so how would you rate that experience was it easy to do that or how was it Yeah so actually the two question that he asked so one of the question i already did i mean the version of that question so i already did that question mm-hmm. so it was not as tough for me so i easily coded okay. that question also explain the approach i mean step okay. by step approach but for a second question it's actually okay. a basically a molded question i saw that question but it uh, actually a molded mm-hmm. type of question so what happens is i am not mm-hmm. able to do the complete solution okay. yeah i am able to give them one of the solution not the optimized one but one of the working solution but the one thing right. what i see is whenever you are writing a question also explain the approach do not be like that right. i will first code all the solution then i will explain the approach no you keep Correct. on coding as well as keep on explaining okay okay that's a great tip out mm-hmm. there which we got moving on to the third round what actually happened in that yeah so third round is actually taken by the director of engineering so it's a kind you okay. can say hiring manager round so it's a 30 minute round only mm-hmm. so they mostly focus okay. on the resume part whatever the project you did in college and whatever i mean the work you done in the previous company okay so that's all no technical questions are there no technical no dsa question only the question related to your resume and your previous work experience i mean they can ask the question okay. technical question on the basis of a resume not any particularly dsa right. type question okay and what would you rate the difficulty and the timeline how was it it's a 30 minute round and it's not difficult round i mean you can't judge that round in terms of difficulty it's just based on your experience okay 
Totally. So oh, your experience, yeah. your resume will not be a difficult thing for you. If you've gone through your resume, gone right. through your projects, you definitely prepare for resume, your resume and your project. Right. And in 15 minutes, you can say about your resume. 15 minutes, you can say about your previous projects. So it will not be a difficult Correct. thing. Correct. Correct. Works fine. So when I talk about, you know, there were three rounds mm-hmm. and as far as I can understand, it was a pretty smooth interview for you at Danzo. Mm-hmm. But talking about a really fresh person who's coming out for interviews, a fresher mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, maybe the first or the second interview he's sitting. Mm-hmm. What would you rate the difficulty for him? Uh, do they have to practice a lot at Lead Code? Then it'll be as easy as it went for you mm-hmm. or they are practicing normally on a mediocre level and that also goes fine for them yeah so actually i can divide into two parts if you talk about the dsa side so for the dsa side mm-hmm. you have to be i mean you are able to code the lead code medium question it will work fine for your interviews right. not that competitive programming level you don't need that you only need lead code medium level if you are able to do that you can right. definitely crack their interviews and for the second uh-huh. type of round that is a hiring manager round you just need to go through your resume i mean you have to be very well versed okay. about your resume that's it. So the interview okay. round, I mean, hiring manager, I will rate it. I mean, again, a medium one. Medium difficulty. That's, that's really nice. One last question before we wrap up this interview experience is that, Akash, what would you like to advise your juniors or the people watching this video to do or to follow so that they can have a really nice hold on interviews and they can crack good product based companies? Yes. So first of all, you have to be good with DSA because DSA will always be there at what level you are applying for, whether right. SD1 or 2 or 3, DSA will always be there. So you have to prepare the DSA. And uh, secondly, you have to start giving the interviews because if you prepare your DSA, your resume and everything, but when you get into the interview, then you can see that whether are you fully prepared or not. And also one more thing that I always use is whenever my interview ends. So whatever the question that I'm not able to answer this, I always write those questions somewhere and read about those questions. Right. Because actually Correct. those questions are the actual questions that are uh, that the interviewers or the hiring manager are asking in the market. They ask these questions, definitely other product based company or startup will also ask those kind of questions. So be prepared for right. those questions. And if you're also. not able to answer them here, you can answer them in the other. Uh, in one interview is not enough. I mean, I also did, I mean, six, seven failed interviews. After that, I cracked this final mm-hmm. interview. Correct. That's really nice. And I really thank you, Akash, for giving up, you know, a detail and such a good interview experience to us. I would uh, like to tell you guys again. That if you want to read his article, I'll put the link in the description below. You can always have a look and uh, I hope you like the video guys. So hit the like button and the subscribe button. Ring the bell icon for good videos like this from Coding Ninjas. I'll see you in the next one. Happy coding guys.